Welcome back to Studio 701. I already put my phone away, and you guys should too, because yeah. listen up. It's hard to do, though, um, but it's good for us, and it's good to be aware of how much we are on them, certainly. Dr. Marie Schaff Gallagher joins us now. She is a neuropsychologist with Sanford Health. Thank you so much for being here, Doctor. Thanks for having me. This is great. So first of all, you watched the documentary, The Social Dilemma. We all watched it too here in the studio. It's a movie on Netflix and it explores the dangerous human impact of social networking with tech experts sounding the alarm on their own creations. So after watching it, what are your takeaways? Well, it was definitely um, kind of eye-opening. I thought it was really great that we have it to look at and to talk about from a you know, brain perspective, psychology perspective. Um, it was uh, really interesting to me because it looks at how we tap into our desire for human connection and how socials are hu or humans are social creatures and we enjoy being together and so it really taps into using that but it kind of has a dark side like they mentioned so I was really glad that we we're able to look at that and talk about that and understand how we're influenced more often yeah some of what really struck me was that red alert button and the the actual chemicals that are released in your brain to pushing that and seeing oh somebody liked something I did and equating that to what happens in Vegas when you're, you know, gambling or something like that. Exactly. What did you think about that? Yeah, exactly. It, it, again, it taps into our emotions. I saw somebody who said it either engages us or it enrages us, but either way it's getting our emotions up and so it keeps us connected. And really it's that amount of time and that amount of attention that we put into it that, number one, we, we talked about this before, it takes away from us. And number two, it's uh, giving to, you know, it's funding uh, you know, ads and things like that. Yeah, you've given us some great advice in the past, certainly about being aware of what we're using it for and how we're feeling when we are looking at our phone. And today we're actually going to talk a little bit about our kids and their social media use. You provided us with three tips. Let's actually go over those tips right now about social media use for our children. Yeah, so I think it's important to talk with our kids about how we make decisions online and what influences us and having those conversations out loud and talking about how we choose what we do online can be really helpful because, you know, the, the front part of our brain is kind of our problem solving and decision making part and that's still developing up into our 20s so kids don't have the same perspective that we do um, and so we can use other things to help kind of monitor screen time and turn off notifications and help that to help to compensate for that front part of the brain that's not quite working the same way for kids as it does for adults all right and then i saw turn off as many notifications as possible um that's tough that is tough i mean i receive hundreds of notifications <laughs> probably every day between text messages and just app notifications so that is a challenging one for sure yeah and especially with kids is that something you you think you should discuss with them or just do it I think it's a good thing to have the discussion and help have them help set it up. I mean, if they're invested in making sure that they keep themselves safe and they keep themselves healthy online, we're just setting them up with good habits for the future. And do you think a lot of those good habits stem from us too as adults, like exhibiting that to them, you know, in our own social media way? Absolutely. If, they, if we're saying one thing and doing another thing, they can see that. That's a question I have, which is, uh, you know, I don't know if there are any statistics about this, but I'm having a harder time just watching a movie without grabbing my phone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we used to be able to watch a movie without having to look at another device while you're looking at one device. Um, what advice uh, might you have for someone, who, myself, who's having <laughs> trouble with that? Self-control is, it's kind of like a muscle, and so you have to work on strengthening it, just like you would, you know, do your reps in, in the gym. So you want to just slowly build time where you, you know, maybe you set a timer for five minutes and you don't touch your phone for a while. And then maybe you set it for seven minutes next time, and maybe ten minutes the next time, and build that up. And then reinforce yourself once you meet your goals, because we all need reinforcement for working hard on things that are important for us. Yeah, that's a great idea. I love that. Well, thank you so much. Um, wonderful tips once again, Dr. Marie Schaff Gallagher. And for more information about behavioral health services at Sanford Health in Bismarck, you can visit sanfordhealth.org. And coming up next.